All right, guys, what we're doing today is a lot of Gunner React segment stuff, but an interesting topic. It seems that uh, people from my past videos that I've covered before are all kind of finding themselves in new hot water. We just covered Chili De Castro going to jail for six months. I mean, that one's pretty crazy. And then another one we're looking at is Derek Raz, who might be a predator. I mean, it's, it's weird that people I get into beef with that they end up either going to jail or maybe being predators. I <laughs> It seems a little higher stakes than I thought it would be when I first got into this whole YouTube gang. YouTube game. I mean, there could be YouTube gangs too. That's a, that's a Freudian slip. I mean, I don't know what people are capable of in this platform. All right, so Derek Graz is uh, this guy. This guy right there. Quick backstory. Uh, me and Jake Doolittle made a video together where we made fun of him doing uh, DoorDash pranks in college where he just like spilled the food and stuff. It was whatever. And then he uh, challenged to fight me. <laughs> which was so weird. He like tweeted at me. I'm giving you two options. Pick wisely, Gunner Klein. You have 24 hours to accept my boxing match or I'm gonna drop the greatest hit single on your fat ass. I am Derek Raz, bitch. Call my bluff, <laughs> call my bluff. Your viewers are all six year old Roblox virgins. An epic tweet, an epic lay tweet. This one's, it just burned into my mind at this point. I didn't respond and he never dropped the diss track. I was very disappointed. I was super disappointed. He never dropped it. I was so excited. <sighs> Sucks. Anyways, I think it's a fun video. 30 minutes of me just kind of going over his live stream where he's looking at me and Jake's video, uh, yelling just nonsensical shit, mostly just calling us fat and gay the whole time. Uh, not exaggeration. Who's the fat fuck? He's just, he's just like an 18 year old annoying streamer. But apparently he's kind of gotten like into this whole fucking kick predator fiasco and I had no idea until uh, people very nicely let me know in Discord. So there was something, I'm sure you guys have seen this, something about chickens posted to catch a kick predator are basically exposing this guy, whoever the fuck he is, riot something, and like, he's actually a predator, predator. Like, I, I think he was, a, you know, it was like very young girls on like Omega or something, and he was lying about age and stuff. I don't know too many details, um, but regardless, this kind of brought up people looking to other people on Kick that were predator-esque, and Derek Raz in the mix. So we're gonna watch a video called Kick's Biggest Predator by Streaming Spotlight, who Oompaville also referenced in his video covering it too. I haven't seen any of this, so we're doing some live react, baby. Predators, it's fun, let's go, let's make it funny. Um, uh, wow, all right, shit. This is some horrid shit, goddamn. This is so much worse than I thought this would be. It turns out it was kind of hard to make that funny. At least at first. The video we watched was from Streaming Spotlight and it was a text-to-speech voiceover of Derek's alleged sex crimes. One, he's actually admitted to. And I think it just showed a little bit too much context. If you get what I mean, like way too much context that we didn't need to see. I feel like we should be watching this. In Derek's response that we look at after though, he's responding and reacting to another YouTuber called The Asher Show who makes a video going over the same allegations in this video, but does it in a much better and more digestible way. So before the funny part of Derek just being really stupid in his response, I need to catch you up on the context and clips that I watched beforehand so you know what I know before we watch that video together. Does that make sense? I, I, I hope that makes sense. First, Derek makes weird sexualized live stream content. This I already knew. Yeah, this was the weird thing about his streams. It's like, it's like horny shit. Like we're talking about before Kick was even a platform. He's been doing this for a long fucking time. He did this on Twitch. Two, Derek had secret streams where he invites girls over and had a hidden camera set up where he aggressively tries to get with and does eventually end up having sex with them on his hidden camera live stream with a lot of people watching. Uh, this is a crime in all states in the US. I'm going to hell. I'm going to hell internally, but I'm fucked up. How do you even, how are you even aware that what you're doing is fucked up and you still do it? Uber? Yes. Why? Because. Uh, uh. Jesus. We're only five minutes in, there's still fucking 18 minutes left of proof. <laughs> I wonder how Derek responds to this. I'm so curious. I kind of want to skip to that now, but we'll, we'll keep watching. So what's the point of coming here I'm so, I'm so, I'm so deep with shit? Jesus, dude. I just don't kiss Bitch, I get ahead and put my feet back. Is his goal to have sex on camera right now? Like, is that how little, sh like, he gives a fuck about kick TOS? <sighs> Thanks, AI guy. His response to this has to be that it's fake. Obviously, I try to keep this shit light, but this is so much worse than I thought it was. I, I, I thought this was... Oh, no, good playing it off, oh buddy. Oh my god! No way I just fucking Sick was joke. live the whole entire thing! 
Oh my god, bro! Okay. Oh no way! I just I just live streamed the. An SA? What the hell? No way. I just live streamed a crime? What? No way. I could go to jail for this. What the fuck? Why did I live stream this? And finally, Derek is accused of sending nudes and sex tapes of his once ex-girlfriend to a mod in his chat for money. Uh, and since it was an older relationship, his ex-girlfriend would have been some 16 years old in these photos and videos. Therefore, underage, and therefore selling child p-word. Uh, that's also a crime in all states too, if, if you didn't know that one. just There's also leaked screenshots from Derek on his live streams that show a Twitter DM conversation verifying the ex-girlfriend's name that he sold these nudes of. Allegedly. We see a video, I mean. <laughs> okay, with that out of the way, a lot of this will be brought back up in Derek's response to the Asher Show, but now you're caught up in what I knew going into what we're about to look at right now. You can watch the full video from the first one from Streaming Spotlight in the description, as well as the full video from the Asher Show, which is what we're gonna be looking at Derek, looking at right now. Also linked in the description. Now on to Derek's response. Apparently we have a video of Derek Raz responding to the allegations too. Uh, I'm sure he'll take that very seriously. This is his video, a Kickstreamer who who has been falsely accused. Oh God, dude, I, I'm just already a description. I'm a 19 year old streamer who has been streaming since I was 16. I am not a terrible person. I'm young and most importantly human. All, all humans make mistakes. I'm sure everybody watching this video has made an irrational decision and later regret it. I admit my faults and take full accountability of my actions and what I've done wrong, I reflected and became a better person. <laughs> I just currently reflected and became a better person, just now. On other words, I was painted as an awful human being, which is not the case. These were things in that internet video that were not true in the whole entire video, even starting from the start, paint me as someone I am not. A lot of this was completely taken out of content, which has resulted in a kick ban. He's really not good at spelling. That was also something that we went over a long time ago. All right, Derek, what do you got to say? I'm not watching this whole fucking thing. It's 30 minutes, but let's do a little bit. Hello, everybody. So the reason why I'm making this video today is because my name was painted in a very bad spotlight. Um, and I wanted to go over it with you guys and tell you guys what the truth is. This is unfortunately the loudest this fucking goes. You, you're making an apology video and you couldn't make the volume loud enough? Come on, man. Come on. Now, you know me. Um, basically, my name is Derek Raz. Um, I'm a streamer and I've been streaming for three to four years now. Um, I started streaming on Twitch when I was around 15 to 16, playing Fortnite and just playing video oh, games. Don't your whole um, backstory, man. Actually, so right now my content consists of, you know, just Discord calls, um, playing video games here and there, you know, doing like just challenges, you know, um, YouTube vlog. <laughs> what is this, a job interview, dude? Like the way he comes off is so fucking bizarre. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm not doing any hidden camera uh, uh, sex stuff, uh, sex crimes. I, I'm doing, I'm just doing challenges. I'm doing, I'm doing Discord calls. I'm doing the Snapchat challenge calls. That's what it is. It's not, I'm not actually doing anything bad. Just, um, interaction content with my chat. So basically on live streams, you know, I would have people over. I would talk to them, talk to my chat. Um, I would play video games, talk to my chat. This is how I talk to like an aunt or uncle about how I stream. And so basically I'm just interacting with my chat and we do... We do games. Talk to me, dude. Did you do the crimes or so not? So basically, as you guys know, a lot of things have happened recently, um, and I don't want to waste your guys' time, so I'm going to react to this video You're on... 30 minutes long. 30 minutes long. Too late for that. But let's get back into his streaming career, because his terrible TikToks and his thirst traps on Instagram aren't the problem. It's... <laughs> okay, so off the bat, before even getting into what I did... Um, I should have reacted to this dude, not the AI man. I agree. But Oompaville used the AI man as credit, so I looked at that video. We should just watch this video. <laughs> this video looks way easier to get through. This YouTuber tries to frame me as just some like sexualized person, um, showing my cringy TikToks, and then even even the little thing. Frame you as some sexualized person, bro. That's all of your TikToks. It's not framing you. You're in the frame that we're looking at. If that's what if that's what you mean by frame, yeah, literally you you do sexualizing content. Even the little things like showing my you know my gym picture and and saying it's a thirst trap. Like I'm I was confident going to the gym um, and showing off what I've worked very hard for my body. So even trying to you're being accused of sex crimes, bro. This isn't the right argument. Your first argument is that you're confident in your body. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's heavier stuff here, man. This is a weird way to start. I understand that my TikToks were cringe, but at the time, and this is still how I pay the bills. This this this, this TikTok account has gotten almost five hundred thousand dollars, 
and I started a viral trend. So I understand that it is cringy, but at the same time, it's what's helping me out and helping my career out. And as far as the gym pictures go, it's not a thirst trap. It's 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 Yapping. something that I worked for and I've been proud of my body. Yapping. So I'm showing it off because most of my viewers are a male audience. So. Oh my god, dude, he's so dumb. <laughs> He's just so dumb that he doesn't know how to address criticism. The whole thing that's happened so far, only thing is the guy has said, this is Derek Graz, he makes some sexual content, Here's then this is going to transition to the actual problem, which is his secret streams. Just own it. Yes, he makes sexual content. That's it. Off the bat, he's trying to make me look like a sexualized person, but that is not you are. the case at all. <laughs> you are. Girls doing... <laughs> The next stream is literally you shirtless cooking up with a girl. Yes, you are. Oh my god, he's so fucking stupid. There's yelling at people in Discord calls. Personally, I was just saying I'm not starting deep over a Good fucking sir. female. I'm right here right now. I'm sure. He even gave out the occasional advice. Wow, it's so much easier to flirt with a girl when you have... Again, this was taken out of context. This was a joke in my chat. Um, he still, this video is still trying to, before he gets to what I did, he's trying to frame me as just this terrible human being, but this was not true at all. Um, at the time, I loved my girlfriend a lot. I, would, I wouldn't cheat on her. So again, this was a joke in my chat, and before getting into- I don't believe you. <laughs> I just, I just do not believe you. But somewhere along the way, he gets an indefinite ban on Twitch. Uh, my name is Derek Graz. Um, I was a streamer on Twitch. I had about like 50,000, 50,000 followers. Um, and you know, it was starting to occur to me. Um, and on January 27th, uh, my account, Derek Graz, was indefinitely suspended. Oh yeah, this is the lore I don't know about. So he already got banned from Twitch before. I think he got banned, that was a clip that me and Jake laughed at in his video, is that he said he got banned from Twitch, from Instagram, from uh, Facebook, from Tinder. And we laughed at it. We're like, how are you banned from every single platform at 18 years old? Like, you got to be doing something wrong, don't you think? I take an L. The industry tried to get rid of me. Call me put on or wannabe, but you can't knock me off my grind. But it's fine. In his own words, he still has YouTube and TikTok to grind. He even made a promo video talking about his move from Twitch to YouTube. Hey, tell me what you say. Picking up girls on Tinder while fighting with their girlfriend on the phone is crazy. Also, like, I'm also friends with him. It's not like some random guy. I've seen Again, an out of context clip where this creator tries to make me look like a terrible human being. Um, if you watch me and have watched a stream, you know in this exact clip, um, my girlfriend at the time did matter in fact cheat on me. So me and my chat were just, you know, playing the game and just joking around because we found out that she cheated on me in this exact stream. So I'm not a terrible person. What? <laughs> what? What is this defense? I don't even know what that means. Always says is, everything's a joke. No, it's not. Everything isn't a joke. I, you can tell when he's, when he's doing a joke, but it's like double layered as it being real. He does that all the time. Like he'll say some awful shit, say it's a joke, but he also believes it at the same time. <laughs> that was scripted, it was fake. Kick, we're good bro, don't worry, not happening. We're good. Ah, uh, I see. No, he's just doing a joke. Like the same thing we were saying before, like, oh, kick, it's it's all scripted, kick. Don't shut it down, it's all scripted, kick, don't worry. That's a joke, but it's also not, because it wasn't scripted, that's the joke. His joke is doubled. See, that's good content. Oh, until he got banned on YouTube as well. Banned on YouTube for seven days. And leading into this video, it almost tries to make, again, he tries to paint me as a terrible character, um, showing all these out of context clips, showing all these clips from months and months. He's really trying to go with the out of context thing, dude. What is <laughs> Show the context, Derek. Show it. You're being accused of sex crimes, Derek. Potentially spreading child pornography. You should maybe show the context. This is a better video to watch, honestly. Even him watching this video. I like this guy. It's not, I got banned on YouTube because someone in my chat had posted a, a nudity in my Discord server. Um, from, I don't know, like, a, 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 a only fan. And I love my community. I love my community. Like, we do whatever, man. Uh, so someone just posted some nudes in my Discord. You know, as they do. As my Discord does. A nudity, yeah. <laughs> He's trying to act so adult. That's what got me banned. So, it wasn't from my actions and what I did on YouTube to get me banned. It was because just something that I showed by accident on stream. So yes, it was your actions. You showed a nude on your live stream. That's still your fault. What? Turbulence check. What? Okay, I don't know what this is from. And again, these clips, I'm not ashamed to say that's what I do. That's what makes me happy. <laughs> God, it's, I just, just for anyone, anyone who ever has allegations of sex crimes, of illegal sex crimes, potential, potential essay, 
uh, a spreading of child P word. You don't start with trying to defend you doing the helicopter dick. You, that's just, no one gives a fuck. That's just who I am. I'm the helicopter dick guy. That's just what I do. And I'm proud of that. I'm not ashamed of that. You're being accused of some very serious stuff here, Derek. You got banned from your only platform that makes you money. This guy's trying to paint me as a sexual deviant. I'm proud of the helicopter dick, though. That's pretty cool. I can helicopter dick with my shirt off. I can do that. But, uh, but this guy's trying to paint me in a weird light. <laughs> I'm not this sexual guy. I'm proud of my body. I'm proud of my body. Yeah, I, you know, it just, so no one gets me trying to be a hypocrite here. Yes, I threw around the idea of doing a boner stream. I'm not gonna say that that wasn't gonna be a sexual stream though, all right? You're not catching me any, you're not catching any hypocrisy from me. Oh, dear Derek Graz, your account has been temporarily suspended due to breach of terms of service. Reason, sexually explicit content. If you've been banned on three separate platforms, why would you continue doing exactly what you're doing? Well, again, the reason why I was banned on Kick um, for sexually explicit content for that time was because I was on Omegle um, and I strolled past, you know, a guy Put it, I, I scroll past a guy jerking off. I don't want to say that. I'm sorry for you. Know, a nudity? That, I scroll past a guy uh, for jerking off, and I was sorry, I really don't want to say that. That's really that's really hard for me to say. The guy who just did helicopter dick. That's really hard for me to say a guy jerking off. That's very difficult for me to even to even say. The guy who's been banned three times for sexual content. This is very difficult for me. Dumb and didn't delete the VOD. So, back to what I was saying again, it's just he's trying to put all this clips and make me seem like a terrible person. Yeah, we know. It's but all out of context. During this time period, I didn't person. get banned oh, yeah, 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 for yeah, yeah. anything yep, terrible. Yep, 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 yep. I got banned for just me showing something stupid on stream um, and not deleting the VOD fast enough. Yep, 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 yep. Shows a video where the streamer and part owner of Kick, Trainwreck, donated $5,000 to him. Train Rex donated $5,000. Really? That's a lot of love. Take oh, $5,000 for that level of love, brother. Basically, while he's doing a fucking horny. Isn't Train Rex like in his 30s? Owns the fucking company? You're donating to this dude? <laughs> what? Uh, maybe he was just randomly donating to people on the platform, but he's like literally in the middle of one of his streams that we were talking about before where he's got a girl over just doing horny shit. Like, even their sub goals on the side in this stream, on the side, five subs equals makeout, 10 subs equals lick whip cream and get cream pie face, 20 subs, reflex challenge, 50 subs, try not to fold challenge, 100 subs, sleep stream with TTS, 200 subs, matching tattoo, 400 subs, Bella's underwear, 500 subs equals release OF tape. He's like in the middle of a horny stream. <laughs> Uh, this is even like trying to get you. It's just it just is the stream you're doing. Basically giving him a pat on the back for streaming on Kick and tell. Yeah, absolutely. When your fucking owner is fucking giving you money for that, that's crazy. Two years ago, I was banned on Twitch for no reason, no timing, nothing. My account was just gone. I felt hopeless, so depressed for months. My life went from the highest point, crashing straight to the bottom. The feeling cannot be described how bad I felt. I don't think Kick realizes how many people they pulled out of depression and gave them hope to be a successful creator and chase their. I don't think Kick realizes how many people they've saved from depression i mean yeah a bunch of fuckheads that would have been banned on twitch like you that's like 10 people <laughs> i mean i don't i don't know how many people they've saved for depression what dreams i don't know why he said that he was banned for no reason there was a reason and he knows what it was because he admits it in his apology video to twitch now i don't understand why this part was even added in the video during this time period um i was i think i would say around 16 years old and um I was permanently banned on Twitch, and during this time period, I, I dropped out of school. Um, me and my girlfriend of three years just broke up. My friend crashed my car. I basically dedicated my whole, entire, my whole entire life into my streaming career and got it all taken away from me just like this. Aww. And during this time period, I genuinely was so depressed and suicidal and just so lost in life. Way to flip it. Way to flip it, dude. I don't know why this is being included. I, I was suicidal back then. It was included. We're talking about your ban for nudity. Why did you get banned? Let's focus on why you got banned. That's what we're looking at. And this was probably the most terrblest time during my life. Terriblest? Nah. And the fact that this creator is turning oh my God. that against me and what- Oh my God. He doesn't know that. No one knows that. He's not turning that against you. He doesn't know that. He's not laughing at you saying, oh, look, he was he was suicidal. He's crashed his car. He was having the most terriblest time of his life. He's pulling this up to show that you got banned from Twitch two years ago for sexual explicit content. I was going through a lot. You know, Kick just opened up. I was grinding. I was streaming on Kick every single day. Trainers came in my chat, 
gave me over eight thousand dollars. This was posted on Dextro and just so many big news articles. And this creator is trying to come at the time when I was depressed and turn that against me. Oh my god. You are so dumb. So this creator, dumb. this whole entire video so far has gone at... You are so dumb. and <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> like, to follow his train of logic is just so idiotic. My lowest of lows, it made me look like a terrible person. And then now he's even coming at my high points in my career. and just Oh, no, not your high points. Okay, well then when can we come at you? <laughs> If we can't come at you at your lowest, and we can't come at you at your highest, when, when can we come at you? Is are you just never? That is just not okay in any aspect at all. Oh, dude, you called, <laughs> you you called me and Jake fat and gay for like thirty minutes. You were you you were incessantly an asshole. It, now I sound like him because I can't say words. Incessantly an asshole. You're a bully. You just are. Like, there's footage upon footage of you just being the worst person. You can't take the high and mighty road. Especially when he's not even coming at you for that. He just said you, you fucking got bait booted off Twitch two years ago. I got this post on my subreddit, r slash the Ash show, that read, You should consider just covering the streamer. He's just as bad as Riot Lol. And if you remember, Riot Lol is the person I talked about previously that would secretly record women exposing themselves on camera and post it in his Discord server. So let me go through this one part at a time. Kick streamer Derek Graz has been exposed for secretly streaming girls via hitting camera performing sex acts. So Derek would have streams where he would go through his Snapchat, opening pictures that girls would send him, exposing their nudes to people watching his streams. And when he, he got away with Derek. doing this, he decided to ramp it up. He would match with people on Tinder, invite them over, so basically, like, this guy's, like, basically, like, he's kind of just saying everything, like, is, uh, is like, it's kind of, like, all out of, it's kind of just, like, out of, uh, fully out of, like, yeah, it's kind of just, like, uh, like, out of context. It's kind of just, like, out of context. Like, what you don't get here is that, like, I'm actually a good person. He's trying to frame me in a bad light is what's, is what's happening. Um, I was also suicidal. And filmed everything that was- So, again, that Snapchat allegation is also a false allegation. There has never been a single time in the four years I have been streaming that I've ever exposed a nude on Snapchat. Um, my Snapchat streams consist of me just swiping up on, you know, people's public story um, or snapping them like just like stupid, cringy, you know, corny pickup lines and just corny trying to rhythm up as a joke. This clip, again, what this creator just said is fully not true. Not true at all. Again, there's never been a point in my life that I've showed any type of nude on Snapchat. On oh, Snapchat. <laughs> Wait, what did what did Asher Show say exactly? So Derek would have streams where he would go through his Snapchat, opening pictures that girls would send him, exposing their nudes to people watching his streams. And when he got away with doing this, he decided to- That maybe, I don't know. In a that single maybe. time in the four years I have been streaming. I would be surprised. I mean, you know, honestly, all that says to me is that he didn't get nudes. <laughs> <laughs> like, because a Snapchat is you don't know what the fuck it is before you click on it. It just shows the red square. He's trying to get these girls to send nudes. That I know for sure. We've seen that. So if they didn't send you nudes, they didn't send you nudes. If they did, you would have shown a nude on your live stream. That's just what, that's just what would have happened. So you got no riz is what I'm saying, basically. Okay, so now that he's painted me as this type of person, um, now in this video, he's going to get into the mistakes that I've done. Um, and now I am going to let this full entire clip play out because I want you guys to, you know, see what happened. I don't want to hide anything. Um, okay. this is the, you know, one point in my career that I did truly mess up. Um, and I want you guys to just fully see it and I want you guys to watch it and I don't want to hide any of it. Um, okay. on my account. On my so that was real. All right. Yeah. Case closed. Case closed. We've seen this. This, this, yeah. Okay. If he admits to it, case closed, dude. You're a fucking creep. You you committed a sex crime. You use a hidden camera, sexually pressured a girl into giving you a hand job when she wanted to leave. And you did it on camera. And you kept it on. And you admit to it. You shouldn't be allowed anywhere. You should be banned. Uh, yes. Uh, you're trying to admit to it because you want to get back on. You, Jesus. This isn't a small thing that you just like, oh, I, I ref what he's saying in his, in his uh, description? He said, I reflected and became a better person. Dog, in this stream, in that, in that live stream, you literally say before you set up the hidden camera, I'm going to hell. No, I know I'm going to hell. You knew it was bad. I'm going to hell, dude. This is awful. I shouldn't be doing this. Okay, I'm going to put the camera right here. Go and... Um, so he basically matched with this girl. Um, I, I literally have no clue goofed. what she looks like. I, uh, I have no clue what she looks like. She's gonna come over and I'm gonna 
Set up the camera like a, 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 uh, what's it called? Like a fucking, like a um, hidden camera. And then, um, I'm gonna have an earpiece. I'm gonna have the headphones. I'm gonna have my hoodie up. I'm gonna have my hoodie up. Like <laughs> so this. much prep. And I'm gonna have a headphones. So bro. much prep. I'm gonna have the headphones. I'm That's a little loopsy. In, it's a little every single, every, oh, the TTS. Every single donation, like the TTS, it's gonna, like, it's gonna, so you guys put what to say and see what to do, bro. Re uploaded. And this is a part where he takes off his pants and he starts becoming more aggressive with this girl that he invites over. She says that she's Ubering home and he begs her to stay. Ubering? Why? Because. Alright, 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 alright. Alright, why are you there? <laughs> she stays for a bit longer, they lie down on the couch, and you can see that there's some hand activity happening underneath the covers. And that's when he decides to get up and turn the camera. He didn't get banned for this at all. Even though she didn't consent to being on camera, he even admits that the camera was there secretly. And I'm gonna set up the camera like a, 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 uh, what's it called? Like a fucking, like a wow, hidden camera? But when I saw this, I thought maybe it wasn't real. I thought it was a setup situation because of the way that he reacted. That's the only way out. That's your only way out. Questions and she doesn't seem to want to answer because she's suspicious of this camera setup and she says something. <sighs> and this is what I said. Okay, I'm glad me and Ash are on the same page here. What I was saying is that when AI voice guy showed us this clip, I was more reasonable to this one being scripted slash she knows it's a live stream because she points it out. It, it had more bearing to it. The first one, not so much. Trigger something. The scared. I'm scared. Oh. No, you have a camera oh. up there. Oh, I shut off. Oh, so it's on? She then goes to change her clothes and Okay, so after that whole entire Let me cut off right here. She then goes to change her clothes. Okay, guys. Okay, hold on. Our video, he's now gotten to the mistakes that I have made. Um now I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, I'm not gonna hide anything. Um basically during this time period, um in the past four years of me streaming, I did two um secret streams you can call it. Now what these consisted of is I had I had a girl come over, I matched them on Tinder, and I hid the camera, um, and I wore like two air pieces in my ears, and I would have, you know, TTS I on. I am shocked he's admitting to this. I'm actually shocked. The last thing I expected was him to admit to this. I thought he was just going to say this is fake. This is bizarre. His lawyer yeah. is crying. <laughs> I mean, he, he, I can't believe he just admitted to this. That is crazy. TS on, and my chat would donate and basically tell me what to do um, and tell me how to act. Now, this in a never, and this, this is not okay in a million years. Um, I'm, I was young, I was, I was stupid. You know, I let the views. And Dog, I think this was like a year and a half ago. Oh, now I want to know the date. Now I want to know the date. We'll we'll look we'll look at it. I think this was I think this was at most two years ago. He's twenty now. He said he's nineteen here. I he was either eighteen to twenty years old. And just my chat kind of get into my head and tell me what to do. And I try oh, to blame be it on chat. <laughs> no, that's a good move. I, I'm gonna use that one too one day, and, and it will it will work for me because my chat is our criminals. And are and do try to make me do things I don't want to do. Chat blaming is something else. That is a wild strategy. So he admits to it, but he still blames chat. Um, I'm I was young, I was I was stupid. You know, I let the views and just my chat kind of get into my head and tell me what to do. And I try to be the good person by listening to them. But after reflection, I realized that was terrible. I don't condone that. You can't you can't use the views got to my head excuse for this. It's just a different level, man. It's just a different level. At all. At the time I didn't realize how this can, you know, mess up, you know, the girl's livelihood. It can make him feel uncomfortable. It can just, you know, kind of just ruin their life. And this right here was It can make them feel uncomfortable. It could ruin their life. Yeah. It's just not okay. Um, and I deeply regret doing this. I've reached out to, you know, both these girls that have been on my hidden camera streams. Um, I formally apologized. We know we've talked about it. And again, it was just extremely messed up and it was something not okay to do. At the time, you know, a bunch of streamers, they were doing it, you know, um, and I kind of seen it as like a, you know, a hidden camera, you know, prank show or whatever, like a reality TV kind of. He really, he really does see it that way. Oh my God, dude. That's what I was joking about before. He's like, this is our prank show today. Today we're doing sexual assault. <laughs> Just a prank though. Just a prank though. This is my prank show where we, where we touch girls without them knowing there's a camera in the room. It's just a prank. He really saw it that way. Oh my it's Lord. Like a, 
you know, a hidden camera, you know, prank show or whatever, like a reality TV kind of thing, and that was not okay at all. I completely, like, misjudged the situation, and I misjudged the whole entire thing, um, and it was just genuinely, genuinely deep down, it was messed up. I'm not gonna lie about that part. That was messed up. Um, since then, I have changed the person. You know, I it, it, it makes me, like, think... I can't give him any credit for for, for get, taking accountability on it like you really can't it's just a whole other level dude it's just a whole other level it, it, it doesn't matter you didn't change as a person this was less than two years ago ice and think like know what's okay and what's not okay but yeah i think it was morally you know messed up um it was something oh, no that i should have never done in a million years and it, it was dumb it was extremely stupid um i i didn't think or know how bad it was at the time but looking back at it i can you know i can see how you know messed up it was and i like to apologize to you know after you got banned after you got banned from kick now you suddenly see how bad it was ain't that weird i suddenly reflected and changed as a person really quickly over the course of 24 hours isn't that really strange i've suddenly instantly become better after after i've lost my source of revenue Hey, that's that's interesting. What was the point of the first 15 minutes of this apology? The first 15 minutes. So these are taken out of context. He's trying to paint me all sexual and stuff. Just for the second half of the video, be like, yes, I committed a sex crime. Yes, that's me committing a sex crime on camera. Yep, that's me. I did that. Yes. My community and you guys for even, you know, promoting those type of actions um, and thinking that's okay because it's not. I like to apologize to Kick for even bringing it on the platform and doing something so, you know, vi vital and just cruel on the platform. And, you know, obviously, I'd like to apologize. Who is this, by the way? This is Derek Graz, who I have a video about a long time ago, about a year ago, who wanted to fight me. And here he is now being a predator. Guys, <laughs> to these girls, because none of this what do you is say? okay platform. Vital? And, you know, obviously, I'd like to apologize to these girls because none of this is okay. These actions are not okay. Um, and I, after, you know, watching what I did okay, and doing something so, you know, vi vital and just cruel on the platform. and <laughs> So vital. Doing actions that are so vital. Did, I can truly see, you know, how, how messed up, how messed up it really was. It was, it was messed up. There's no shirt coding it. Um, I'm taking full accountability. I'm not going to hide that. I want you guys to see this. I want to grow as a person. I want to grow, you know, with my community and become a better person. No, what... What this means is you grow as a person and you lose the community. You don't get a community after this. You lo you lose it. That's your accountability. What your accountability looks like is you lose your community. That's what your accountability is. You don't just say, I take accountability. There's got to be some consequence, Derek. You lost your platform. That's it. I misread the situation and I just did something stupid. Um, you know, for misread clips. Misread for the situation? <laughs> What does that even mean? I misread the situation. You created the situation. There's no misreading it. You wrote the situation. It's your story. Reviews and just whatever my brain was thinking at the time, but it was truly, it was, it was morally wrong. It was morally wrong and messed up, and I deeply regret doing that, um, and it, it was just fully messed up. So again, I'd like to apologize to Kick um, for bringing that. I'd like to apologize to you know these girls which I have reached out and talking about it, and I'd like to apologize to you guys for even condoning that stuff. And I'd like to apologize to myself because th I'd like to apologize to you guys for even condoning that stuff. Is that what he said? I'd like to apologize to you guys for even condoning that stuff. And <laughs> I don't think he knows what that word means because you wouldn't apologize to your community for allowing it. You would say that's fucked up on you guys too. I'd like to apologize to myself because this action genuinely messed up and ruined a good aspect in my life. And I don't think you can do that. I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> I don't think I don't think you can apologize to yourself, Derek Present. Yes, Derek Former. I'm so Derek Present. I'm so sorry that I hidden camera sexually crimed that girl. It's okay as Derek Former to Derek Present. It's fine. I accept your apology. Thank you, Derek Former. As Derek Present, when we go to court, this should all be okay because I've accepted my own apology. Your Honor, I accepted my own apology for real, for real. You can't lock me up. And I, I, I think I do need a consequence. I think it was terrible. So I do fully agree with that. It was awful. That was the first allegation that was put on my. That's only the first one. <laughs> and he admitted to that one. All right. So I'll say the second one's probably fake. Name? It, it was. Did he do the hashtag free Derek again? Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> this is the thing he used to do when he got banned on, on Twitch and Instagram and Tinder. It was, it was the whole thing. It was hashtag free Derek. Ah, this time it's hashtag put Derek away. Now, now it's, it's hashtag lock up Derek. I don't, you can't be rocking that same hashtag anymore, man. It was messed up. It was morally wrong. I shouldn't have done that. And it was just genuinely stupid. It was really dumb. Um, and I, you know, I feel like a piece of shit for doing it. I think it was so stupid and never in a million years would I repeat the same actions that I have done because it did cause harm. And how many years? Can you just say one more time how many years you wouldn't do this again? Because I, I think I missed you the first time. Because it, it seems like it's only been uh, less than a few years. You're saying how many years? A million years? And never in a million years would a million. I repeat right, it was a million. the same. So that was the first allegation. And now he gets into the second allegation. And I want to play. Second allegation. I just, I, I, he's such a fucking idiot. On top of everything, he's just dumb. And that makes me mad when he does bad shit because he's also dumb on top of it. There's no point in quote in quoting second allegation. It is the second allegation. Now let me get into the second part of this Reddit post. He's also live streamed himself selling nudes and sex tapes of his two ex-girlfriends. One of them apparently has a large following on social media and was underage at the time. Once again, Derek is streaming okay. this time. Now, has this is the second accusation that was brought my name. So basically, um, this YouTuber is trying to frame, uh, claim that I was- <laughs> He's on a loop. He is on a loop, dude. He just said frame instead of claim because he just nonstop just kept saying. So basically this YouTuber is trying to frame me in a certain light, which he said 20 times. So he just accidentally said it again. So basically, um, this YouTuber is trying to frame, uh, claim that claim. I was um, live streaming me selling explicit photos of my underage ex-girlfriend. Now, this, claim is completely false. It's completely false and let me explain why. So a bunch of these claims come from a bunch of, you know, Reddit users, right? And to give you guys the backstory, so basically about a month ago, um, I was in Florida and I had my, my editor, my filmer, and my friend. And he basically was filming for me, editing my videos, and I took him to Jack Doherty's house, right? And me and Jack Doherty got into a altercation. And basically I was kicked out of Jack Doherty's house um, and Jack, you know, told my friend, my cameraman, my editor, that he would give him- You ever have that one friend or cousin or sibling who is trying to tell a story and you're just like, get to the meat. I don't care about how the early of your week was. What happened on Wednesday? That's, we're talking about Wednesday. I don't care what happened on Monday or Tuesday. What happened on Wednesday? I don't care if it was raining outside. I don't care if you had a pebble in your shoe. Get to the point. So I was I was left outside. I was just complete. I was like 45 minutes away from home. My phone was at one percent. I was get I was fully embarrassed because this kid just took my friend and my life, my filmer, on stream. So, um, with that being said, Jack told my filmer that he was going to hire him, which Jack never hired him for the same exact reason that I'm about to- I will be so impressed if this somehow makes any fucking relevant sense to sending nudes uh, to his moderator. Tell you. So the f this, this filmer and editor was extremely mad at me because he's now not just lost his job from me, he's also lost his job from Jack as well. So what this filmer has been he's doing good. to me is he has been constantly harassing me on Twitter, on Discord, on YouTube, on Reddit. He's made so many fake and, and alternate accounts and just talking so bad about my name. Okay, trying none to of that me. addresses the evidence. So all of this, to bring this all around, he's gonna say the person that posted the claim is his vindictive filmer. Address the fucking claim. If anything, it might give more credence to the filmer. He actually knows you. Me for this exact claim, um, and I've blocked all these these people, but it's just another account was made, another account was made, another account was made, and it just got to the point where it gets really bad. Um, so this claim has been coming from someone who's been harassing me and trying to take me down. He's he's out for blood for me for for no exact reason because he lost my job or he lost his job, and it is genuinely upsetting. You stopped? That that really was it. You're gonna stop there? Are you sure about that? You don't have more to say. I, I, I'm actually befuddled. Yeah. If he doesn't address it, I swear to fuck, you just told us an entire story about the person who posts the claim. What about the claim? Talk about the claim. And Derek is streaming. This time he's on Snapchat with his friend and he's in a call with his friend. Okay. okay. So now, before we watch this clip, I just want to say, keep in mind um, the chain setup that I was wearing. I was wearing <laughs> What claim? I remember, I just remember his story. The claim is that this is a live stream where he sends his mod a nudes 
of his ex-girlfriend who then was underage, thereby technically sending child he sent he sent Snapchat pictures in his in his only in his eyes only section to to his moderators for money. That's the claim, and he just told a whole story about how the claim came from a vindictive filmer. So he's kind of watching. What about his chain? And what are we talking about? Before we watch this clip, I just want to say, keep in mind um, the chain setup that I was wearing. I was wearing you know the pearls with the cross. Before we watch this clip, keep in mind uh, the absolute fit I was throwing. Uh, you see, I got the two chains. I kind of had like a button up that wasn't buttoned. Keep that in mind how dope I look before we get into this. Um, keep in keep in um, mind the room, the coloring, um, basically all of that. Yes. While while you watch this clip, okay. keep that in the back of your mind while I watch this. <laughs> Guessing it's gonna be two different streams. And he's showing this person compromising pictures of his ex girlfriend. And whoever's on the phone asks to pay for them. He says, I'll give you 10 gifted subs for these pictures and videos. And he sends the money. I'll give 10 gifted subs for these pictures and videos. And he sends the money. I'll give 10 gifted subs for these pictures and videos. And he sends the money. I'll give 10 gifted subs for these pictures and videos. And he sends the money. I'll give 10 gifted subs for these pictures and videos. And he sends the money. The person on the call admits that he's going to resell them for a hundred dollars. Yeah, I just I missed that before. And like fucking hundred bucks. So that's true. No, dude, I don't know if I'll Yo, I got some y'all. Oh my life. You think he's making So again, he took a clip that was extremely out of context and very misleading. Never in a hundred million years would I hundred million years. Whoa. So it's even more years for this. Very misleading. Never in a hundred million years would I ever sell explicit photos of not just people, but people who are in my life. What it is what is the missing context? <laughs> what is the missing context? I'm looking at the chains, man. It, uh, is it going to come up? What about the chains? I, I'm just. What is the missing context? In my life, and still to this day, I've ha I had a, I have a connection with these girls. I've dated these girls for about two to three years now. Um, or sorry, we dated for two or three years, and I would just never do that in a million years. This clip is very misleading. So basically, what I had sent my friend in this very misleading clip was a OnlyFans tape that was supposed to be posted on OnlyFans, right? So if we go back to about right here and this clip right here, I had sub goals, right? Um, so basically, sub goals is when someone uh, subs, it gets like the the mark or whatever, and like you do the challenge. So basically, at 500 subs, um, we would release our OnlyFans tape, right? And keep in mind, this source, trust me, bro. That's I mean, there's not a single receipt. He doesn't he doesn't show a single fucking anything. But keep going, keep yapping. Girl that would was in the tape. But also, yeah, it's misleading. I, I just uh, what? Okay, keep going. She is overage. She is fully consensual of it and she's fully aware like you're just telling us this so on the clip it's it's it says it's going to be an ex-girlfriend nude and then he's saying oh no it's this of tape from this other stream a while ago show us show us any proof of that any any message show us the message that's all you got to do all you got to do is show us the message with the guy but you know what when we looked at the ai guys uh youtube video before this the only thing is that after it and the ai guy was right about this is that when he cuts back to his phone it shows he's on snapchat on my eyes only section unless he put the of clip in his snapchat my eyes only section which i don't think he did it's probably news from his ex so i don't know why and where this guy even tried to pin me selling my underaged ex-girlfriend's explicit photos on something that is just not the case at all and it was a only fans tape you're just saying that full again fully sensual fully aware and fully fully sensual what? Basically what this creator just did, he found a random post on Reddit from... Dude, he didn't address any of it. That's actually crazy. He's actually so stupid. He's actually an idiot. No no evidence that we're talking about an OF clip or anything. The clip is not taken out of context. Unless you show the context, the clip sounds like you said, I'm going to send you my ex's news. He said that. <laughs> He said, I'm going to show you my ex's nudes. But he's like, no, it's taken out of context. I actually showed a whole different girl and an OF clip from this other stream. No proof. Someone who's been harassing me for the past week trying to frame me in a very Hold on. So did the chain switch or did he just say that for no reason? Chain. I'm looking at it. Okay. Does it switch? Is it different? I can't even tell. Okay. There's a thing hanging down on that. It's the same fucking chain, is it not? There's no pendant hanging down. Let's see, desk drawers open, cow and two stuffed animals. Yeah, it's the exact same. I'm looking at this now, look at this. See this little piece of white cloth on the bed that's going like that? Compare that to that. 
The exact fucking same. That bed has not been m slept on. Now, before we watch this clip, I just want to say, you're talking about me selling something in my own, like, personal life. You're talking about me selling- We're talking about you selling child p dude. We're talking about you selling something that will land you in jail for years. Yes. Allegedly. Allegedly. If everything you said on that stream is true, allegedly. Why in a million years? Also, we saw AI guys fucking uh, leaked messages on the Twitter with him and his mods where they literally say it again. They say, oh, he shared nudes of his ex. Would I want to have men on the internet see my ex-girlfriend's body or just something so bizarre of that? Never in a million years would I want random people on the internet to see something that's in my personal life. Someone to see someone that I loved, someone that I truly love and, and do still care about to this day. Never in a million years would I do that, and that is morally wrong. Well, never in a million years were you going to live stream a girl coming over and then pressuring her for sex, but you did that too. So, as you guys just watched the whole entire video, um, I was- Alright, well, I'll cover my ass. That's all alleged. It didn't clear up shit. I, nothing was been cleared up. This is all just fucking- just yapping. Your Honor, permission to yap for 30 minutes? I think this should do us, this should do us good. I was basically claimed, uh, sorry, accused of two things. One was, you know, the hidden camera prank streams, and I'm not gonna sugarcoat that. That was extremely messed up. That was very, that was very viral. So alleged he admits to it? Well, he admits to the first thing, the, the alleged uh, sending of his ex's nudes. That's alleged, supposedly. That's a, that's alleged. And something just terribly gross to do. Um, I I'm not gonna. I was young and I didn't not understand it at the time, but that's not an excuse. Um, I have been growing that as a. I've been growing as a person ever since then, and I think that is just fully and truly messed up. Um, but the second claim about me selling explicit photos of my ex girlfriend is just completely false and completely untrue, and just it it in in, in, in frames me looking like a terrible person, and it sucks that as of right now I don't have you know, my kick platform to, you know, go over this and, and, and speak my voice and tell you guys what's really going on because I was just framed and now I have no voice. You're doing such a bang up job of it here. Don't worry, I'll spread the word, Derek. Don't worry, I'll spread the word for you. I will push this message out on my YouTube channel to get eyes on this uh, fantastic apology. I will, I will get all the eyes on this apology that must be heard with a lot of proof, a lot of evidence to clear your good name because I stand for Derek, free Derek. Hashtag free Derek. Um, I plan on making this video, you know, dropping it, and then, you know, maybe I'm gonna drop some YouTube videos, like some vlog type of videos. Um, okay, I'm let's sure maybe not self-promote at the end of your apology video for SA, man. Maybe, maybe the wrong time. Not everything put out there about me is true. Not a, a lot of it is not true. Um, and yeah, so... But the main thing that's really bad is true. And you're trying to take accountability, right? So let... Take accountability, dog. Not a, a lot of it is not true. Um, and yeah, so... I just wanted to clear it up. I just wanted to make this video. I miss you guys. Um, I love you. And, you know, I hope to see you guys soon. I'll be... I'll be on YouTube for quite some time. But, um, you know, I hope to get on band on kick. Um, and I just want to say I love you guys. And... No fucking way. It just ends like that. No fucking way. It just ends. It just ends in hashtag free Derek. That is, that is crazy. And I love you guys. Free Derek. That might have been one of the worst apology videos I've ever seen. Just provides no context clarification. Says everything that he's accused of is out of context. Admits to a really bad sex crime. <laughs> uh, denies something else without any evidence. When I mean, there's evidence contrary to it. Um, just out of his mind, really. I, I just, I mean, um, so is Derek Graz a predator? I mean, he kind of admitted to it. So I guess Gunner took the dub a year later in the, in the Derek Graz v. Gunner fight. Uh, I, now, Derek, I'll, I'll save you, man. I'll give you, I'll give you a paddle. I'll give you an oar up to climb onto the boat. If you will finally fucking uh, commit on your deal and drop that diss track on my fat ass. I've been waiting, man. If you drop that hit single, it might bring your career back. Oh, Gunner, please stream. Please, Gunner, go live. Gunner, go live. Oh, Gunner, please stream. Please, Gunner, go live. Gunner, go live. Oh, Gunner, please stream. Please, Gunner, go live. Oh, Gunner, please stream. Please, Gunner, go live.